All right. Time to talk about the Alamese Farms largest urban farm crowdfunding from Indiegogo. Of all projects that I have done, I have done a bit of um, crowdfunding for the not for resale <laughs> and and a few ones that from Kickstarter at least. This is one that really took me by surprise. And by the time that I made this video, it's, it only had two months left. So they they had it. Um, they they've been around for for thirteen years, <laughs> and they're not even kidding themselves. According to the description, I'll have that link below, and you can check that one for yourself. So this is um, they had built up quite a farm. 11 tons, as in 22,000 pounds for for organic fruits and veggies as the largest urban farm and the second most popular volunteer site <laughs> next to Golden Gate Park. <laughs> and that was all thanks to the dedicated community members and the whole group of volunteers that friends at Alamut Mini Farm. In California, its agriculture is unique in that farmers can plant year-round, and Alameda Farm is no exception. After a summer uh, season for tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, and more plums, then, yes, yeah, I'm reading from the description, that was like a, a one giant tree that produced like 500 pounds of plum. They are excited for the cooler days of fall, so they're big... You see their, their, all their perks of what you want to do is, you, all it is is they want to expand their operations for next year, their newer ones. And this is what the, the Florin Fang Ancient Community Card would, should have been done after the whole, after the whole converting from the older farm to a current community garden that the Bayview areas are having right now and there and it said um, they they just wrapped up the fall workshop series where they're just all the participants just want to learn how to do with their garden pickle grow pickles make a healthy soil keep bees happy and they use solar oven <laughs> and though they harvest every week at the farm they they actually, the Harvest Festival actually happened last week with all the good stuff in there. So they wanted to keep the farm growing. I mean, the, re the biggest reason is right here, is they want to keep the farm growing and explore new methods to increase their productivity. By back in this campaign, you will help grow, grow fruit for your neighbors, as well as to help us offer more opportunities for community engagement and forms of more public workdays, workshop, internships, and community events. So this is, this is, again, is what the Asian Community Garden by, from Flor, from Fang Florence would have, would love to, would love to use the Indiegogo, garden, the Indiegogo to do their own crowdfunding. What happens to, uh, Look, I don't know anything about the, but I do know generally why there's lack of organic, healthy foods in terms of this instance. And what happens when you got these mainstream commercialized urban gardens, urban farmings, I would say, and they put up this expensive prices. Uh, yes, I'm exaggerating a bit, so hear me out. Hear me out before you start jumping to conclusions. And, you know, as somebody who is, who is just cheap and even middle class folks wouldn't, wouldn't want to pay for for some exorbitant amount of price. They just want to get, they just want to get it. And what happens if there's no options? There's no other options like the grocery store and the supermarket. 
And you and all you had is all this junk food. Which is so true that most of the most unhealthiest audience that was recent the most uh, on the obese area were kids. That's scary. And and you know I got this there is I found this breakdown and their campaign tro uh, goals for 2017 is they wanted to make new programs basically on trying to grow seeds in a greenhouse and they want to buy buy seeds buying soils and greenhouse maintenance and they want to help to keep the farm vibrant and they want to get ready for the 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 replanting after what happened to the the mudslide last winter and they wanted to reformal they like to formalize their internship program to include education materials college credit and potentially a modest step in for in for their interns the entire world needs more farmers so they wanted to make it happen so Alameda Farm, it, again, is that, it's that, it's one of the more, um, the, f now, might be the first farms, urban farms, that paved the way for urban community gardens and future urban farms around the world, and they, and, you know, it, it is a model that, influenced the the Florence Fane Ancient Community Garden to do the same because the Bayview actually had it. There's it, like I said, um by the time I put this video it's already been two months. So you can check that out and and put up as as much money as you can and look at the perks first and see what you can do to help out the farm because the farm really needs a, a, a lot of help and if it, it's successful great as long as as long as you can do um, as you can put up as much money as you can to help out help the farm maintain itself it'll do fine for one year and so so yeah I think that's what I have to say